Okay, it's almost dark. It's been killing me that I haven't put a video up in a while. I have some recorded. I'm in the middle of editing. I want to put this up, call it a teaser. I want to show you what I'm doing with my um, tomato plants. I had this idea, Not it's not some original new idea, but it's using the things I already have. That's kind of what I'm all about. These metal fence posts, try not to step on anything. And I have it driven into the ground past that wedge. These are those green fence posts you can find at Home Depot for a couple of bucks. I have it ground into the ground, or pounded into the ground, uh, quite deep. I would say that's a five foot post and it's probably about three and a half feet tall right now. So maybe three feet tall, probably three feet tall uh, coming out of the ground. And using lag bolts, these were just a few cents a piece. I think I spent maybe 15 bucks in hardware. I just drilled a couple of holes in this eight foot post. This is a two by three and I'm six feet tall. So that's like way over my head. At the top, if you can see that, I have eyelets and then that's just a wire that I had uh, crimped on one end and it goes all the way across. Quality sucks because it's just about dark. Going across to the other eight foot post, same deal. And I used wing nuts so I can just take this apart simple when winter time comes. I have jute, string, yarn, whatever you want to call it. This stuff's called jute. I just did a knot on the end and did it just slip knot eight feet up in the air. And that's going to come down like this and it's going to wrap around the tomato. That's the deal there. I'm pretty happy with how this came out. I just uh, was running out of light. I wanted to get one set up and then I thought, you know what? I got to shoot a video and get this out there so you know I'm still working on it. The, the main concept behind this idea came to me that uh, for some dumb reason I got these five foot fence posts as using the same concept and I had the wire made, made up last year or the year before and I had it going across but it, and I had it connected to the chain link fence in the back and it's way too short. I mean that's only four feet off the ground. Once you pound it in the ground it's only four feet sticking up even three and a half feet sticking up. That's it's ridiculous because tomato plants get way taller than that and then they start falling over and it looks like it's hard to manage this way I can just set the eight foot post that's just sitting on the ground I got the metal fence post that's um, hammered into the ground nice and deep at almost half its uh, normal height so good two and a half feet two feet maybe sticking up three feet out of the ground two carriage bolts we'll see how that holds uh, they're quarter 20s I had to make the hole in the um, metal fence post a little bit larger I'm pretty happy with how this came out we're gonna do the rest of the rows there's a total of um, five rows one two three oh no four rows perfect oh four rows that means I have enough wood I thought I had five rows of tomatoes so we're gonna do the same uh, we're gonna do it here here and here but I am gonna try and get go step by step with what I'm doing I didn't plan on filming tonight I didn't actually plan on doing this at all tonight because I thought it was gonna I was gonna get eaten alive and it was cold here and that's uh that's my little support system like I said it's not a new idea but it's new in the sense that I didn't jam those eight foot poles a foot or two feet or a foot and a half into the ground and lose the height and that was my that was my whole worry um, seeing that I had those fence posts from a dumb idea that just goes to show you you can take a dumb idea and make it a smart idea or at least a new project to where hopefully it comes out we will see thanks for watching tune in I got more from the worms I just ordered my European night crawlers if you've been following the worm side of the channel um, I try to talk about pretty much uh, a, a broad spectrum of uh, gardening stuff. Everything the earth delivers, basically. All right. Well, thanks for watching. That's my update, and more is coming. I'm in the middle of editing my uh, other worm video, and when the European night crawlers get here, we shall be introducing those into uh, a new bin. Thanks for watching. See ya.